Estimated time of arrival, practice problem two. Reads, at 11.03, your position is latitude 41 degrees, 12.5 north, longitude 71 degrees, 37.4 west. What is your ETA at the west gap of Point Judith Harbor of refuge if you make good 11.3 knots? So we need to find the start point and the end point. Let's do that. And let's back up. We're going to start. We know we're going to use distance, speed, and time. Distance, speed, and time. We need to find our distance between these two points, and it gives us our speed, 11.3. 11.3 nautical miles per, per hour, or knots. And 11.03 is when we left. So we're going to have to add this time to 11.03. Now let's find our distance between these two points. 41.12.5 and 71.37.4. So 12.5 and 37.4. 35.67. We're going to be right in here. We're right around here. Let's find that. It's always good to estimate where you are. Navigate. Estimate. Guesstimate do these things so you know about where you are 41.12.5 back it up 41 11.12.5 I'm going to cross this line I'm going to use my dividers to get the second one so I'm going to go from this meridian over so I'm going to draw a line from this meridian over past 37 and a half, which let's double check, 37.4. So we'll go from here over 35, 67.4. There we are. From here, 37.4. All right, we made a mark. Now I'm going to just... Here we are, right? 12, 5, 35, 6, 7, 4. Good. This is our start. And it wants to know from our starting point to West Gap of Point Judith. The West Gap, here's Point Judith. Here's Point Judith Light. Here's the East Gap. Here's the West Gap. So we're going to go right to this light this light to might as well draw it from our start to the west gap now there's where we're intending to go how far is this is what we need to know get five on our parallel rules I like to use five and remember make this accurate because if you're inaccurate here it's gonna put that inaccuracy every time you walk this up the line you'll you'll get that inaccuracy and it'll multiply five ten now there's a little left over let's measure that so we get ten plus this little bit ten plus point five so ten point five our distance is 10.5 nautical miles. 10.5 nautical miles. Now we can get a time, which is equal to distance divided by speed. Right, if we go back to our D street circle, distance, speed, time. We need time, so that's distance divided by speed. Distance divided by speed equals 10.5 nautical miles divided by 11.3 nautical miles per hour these are going to cancel off we'll be left with hours this equals get the calculator 10.5 clear 10.5 divided by 11.3 equals point nine see we got point nine two nine so point nine three hours we need to add 0.93 hours to 11.03. This is where we need to convert 
0.93 hours to minutes. So we times it by 60. And that equals, so 0.93 times 60 equals 55.75 hours, minutes, <laughs> sorry, minutes, 55.75 minutes, which we round up to 56 minutes equals 56 minutes. Now we take this 56 minutes and we add it to 1103. 56. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 59. We, our answer is 11.59. Let's check that. See how well we did. Number two. We see 11.59 right there. So let's, we're saying that it's C. 11.59. Two is C. Excellent. So we got the right answer. The estimated time of arrival Practice problem two is 1159, which is answer C.